stop for the MMA leader, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. We are back inside Gionese Arena here tonight, and you can expect these Brazilians to be early, to be loud, and to get behind their fighters as usual. Too. Every time, I mean, they're loud. They're behind their guys. They almost propel the Brazilian fighters to some of their greatest accomplishments, some of their best performances to date. Fighter blocks the punch. All right, early action here, and a nice hook by the boxer gets home on the kickboxer. This is exactly the range in which he wants to be fighting. Yeah, because it limits the kickboxer, and the kickboxer has a very high guard. So if you're tight and you just pivot with the hook, it lands around that guard, and he does a lot of damage with it. He does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Nice shot there by the champ. Misses with that big right hand. Whiffs on the right hand. Just over three minutes to go. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Went for the inside leg kick. Beautiful straight punch there by Choi. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fifth. Inside leg kick is there by the Korean Super Bowl. Not there. Oh, that's a big weapon for him, but the overhand right, not there that time. Oh! Yeah, he's worked really bad. Yes. That one landed clean. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. And now a head kick to boot. Good straight hand there by Padeo. Here's a kick to the body, blocked though by the Korean Super Bowl. Man, his side kick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good side kick. He's so fast. And so with that technique, there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork. Need some work, guys. Use your footwork. Oh, nice jab by Choi. Under a minute to go. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, how clean is that? Nice strike. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot was what they call it to go and end the fight. So now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and then working.
All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. Go Second ahead. round underway. DC is back from the concession stand as we can. Our next round underway, and you had to like what you saw in terms of the volume and the efficiency on the feet in that previous round. Oh, he did a great job of just being active, really setting down on those right hands, showing that it was not only going to be striking, but a lot of significant strikes landed over the course of that round. Oh, steps to avoid the right. Huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Nice shot right there defensively there. Oh! Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Oh, nice jab by the Korean Super Bowl. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice punch to the head. Just out of range with that left hook. They are throwing both sides with conviction. Big left hook coming. It's good. Just missed with the leg kick. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. You have to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Not there. Choi's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. That left hook was crazy. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Oh, connects with the one-two. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad from his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, landed that inside leg kick. Already a welt on his opponent. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking thing. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, he's hurting bad here. Oh, nice 
jab there by today. Big knee there. Whips on the elbow. Final seconds. Shots exchanged in the pocket there. Uh, Holy smokes. Uh. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, let us get you some replays from that previous round. His nose is significantly damaged after his opponent's handiwork in that previous frame. It's smashed. It's smashed, John, and you see the cut on it. You see the bruising. What's, it's bad now, but in a couple days, it'll be much worse. Yeah. Because that's when you get the black eyes and you start to look like a freaking penguin. The guy is taking too many shots Ready, with his head. Ready. He's not doing a great job of moving his head off the center line. If he wants to win this fight, he has got to be smarter in his approach. And he is toughness personified, but you got to think that that nose, in terms of his breathing pattern, is going to start to give him issues as this fight presses on. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. Now land clean. Just missed with that right hand. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Joy's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the guard. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Nice land with that punch, clearly taking advantage of his big edge and reach. That kick blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Lands a quick jab. He lands a nasty high kick up top. Pineda circling to his right now. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Oh, what a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. So far, a frantic pace as expected. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Misses with the left hook. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Pareda's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Nice kick, yep. Not there. Oh! He's hurting bad here. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other to see. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Missed on the right hand. Choi's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. Oh, nice uppercut from the champion. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, 
Nice big overhand right. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. 30 seconds to go in the round. Great commitment to the kicking game. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Oh, and strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's going to have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Joy's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, that strike to the body, man. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they both show heart, courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Oh, the switch kick to the body for good measure. Nice work there by Pineda. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been a... Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was in the first test. Kick. Style points on that one. His vision is compromised, there's no doubt. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Nice punch to the head. Nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. He did a great job of blocking that punch. Oh, that'll do it! Oh, my goodness! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So, back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly... 
exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, two seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of